Hey Dave, just saw the uh, tweet to Modus Global and wanted to give you my two cents uh, with my experience in the last three, four weeks with about a dozen or so quarterbacks that I've worked with from about seventh grade to, to college level. But needed more, way more than 140 characters to do it, so I thought I'd just do it on video here real quick. Um, the first thing that uh, jumped out up to me were the first three numbers, that elbow distraction force, the elbow valgus torque, and the arm speed. So the distraction force is kind of how far the arm, the, the, the elbow is, is the separating, the stress from separating out to the target. The, the torque is how much stress you're putting on the elbow with that, that torque right there, the rotation. And then arm speed is, is, isn't quite measured by just how fast the arm's moving. It's measured by how fast the arm's rotating. So those three numbers with the distraction force being a little on the low side, the, the torque being a little on the high side, the arm speed being really high. We want high arm speed, but to a point. If we get too too fast, then we got too much of this going, and we can't get that good extension out to the target. Um, so what that does tells me on this specific throw, at least, might just be an outlier. Um, but he does a lot more, a lot of this, and not, instead of doing this. Okay, um, so that hand really turns over. That thumb points to the ground. Um, is that a terrible thing? And he has to fix it now. I don't know, maybe he throws better when he does that. Um, but that's just what those numbers tell me. So I can't tell you, well, he's got to do this, got to do that, got to do this. Um, but it does tell me without seeing actual actual motion that he's got a lot of rotation with that arm. Sometimes that's harder to control, harder to keep consistent. Um, next with arm slot at 73 degrees. If you're thinking of the, 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 the typical prototype over the top throwing motion, you're going to be want to be more about 85 to 90 um, because it's measured by the ground. So it's not measured by the shoulders. It's measured by the ground. So you're going to have a little tilt this way, which is going to bring the arm up a little bit. So um, that Peyton Manning, I mean, Peyton Manning probably be right pretty close to 90 degrees on a base throw. Uh, so 73 could be a little low, but he might throw better from there. there. I don't know. Um, just something that you can, you can keep an eye on and, and, and say, hey, try to get a little higher here. And all of a sudden, his velocity jumps up and he throws the ball well and he spins the ball better. Maybe we need to get a little higher. Um, shoulder rotation. Uh, I have actually found a pretty solid correlation between shoulder rotation and ball velocity. So what that's measuring is the, is the shoulder how far it externally rotates, which makes the arm collapse. So it's going from that L to more of a V shape with our arm right here. Uh, 129 is a little low. So that basically means he's getting... Uh, more like this instead of really loading that tricep up. Um, I think if he can bring that down closer to, to 170, even up to 180, um, which would basically be perfectly flat forearm right here, um, he could get a little bit more velocity. So, uh, like I said, that has been a pretty good correlation. But saying that, that 46 degree fingertip or 46 mile an hour fingertip velocity, um, which is pretty dang close to actual ball velocity, I found. The, the few times that I've used a radar gun to, to measure it and compare, it's pretty close. Um, it's pretty good. Um, I believe Blaine's going into 10th grade. So that, that's pretty good for, for a good base throw. Uh, even better if when he ramps it up even more, he can get it closer to 48, 49, and maybe even 50. But um, hope that helps. Uh, feel free to uh, DM me, text me, whatever. And uh, let me know if I can answer any more questions. Um, but hopefully you get a lot of, lot of use out of, out of uh, the, the sensors, the arm sleeve, and the Modus QB.